CSWEP in the US, which is the, the group at the American Economic Association that really tracks women uh, in economics, is documenting that there's been really no improvement in the share of women doing PhD in economics, the share of women that are assistant professors. These trend lines are absolutely flat. Pointing out, you know, a, a unique reason I think is really complicated. I also believe that we have a pipeline problem. I think lots of young women that are doing their undergrad may just not want to do economics because sometimes they don't have a good understanding of what you know economics is and we should think more about how we can describe a profession better and range of things that as economists we study which is way broader than interest rates and prices and equilibrium. I have never spent time kind of reviewing the economics uh, curriculum for high school but all the stories that I hear about it is that it's really really bad and not the kind of thing that would inspire um, many young people especially women to want to pursue this you know this area so uh, I think it would be important to think about developing uh, a more robust approach to explain what economies do to, to very young people. There's no doubt that uh, by limiting our profession to men, white men, we are leaving a lot of discoveries <laughs> on the table. If everybody has got the same potential to make discoveries, be it in economics, but really in any other field, by limiting ourselves to a pool that is so narrow, we must be inside of like the, the possibility frontier in terms of what economics could be as a field. Another aspect that might be relevant is that there might be differences between genders as to what topics you know, might be you know, more relevant. And so it's also possible that when our profession becomes more diverse, um, the kind of questions that we study becomes, becomes more diverse as well, which would be a great thing. I've convinced myself, hopefully kind of in part of the conversation, that, that we can explain a lot of what's happening to women without having to really rely on discrimination. This is an imperfect and incomplete story to explain a profession like ours. I try to choose topics that, that I think are important, important to the moment and also will have some policy implications. It's not always the case, it's not always successful, um, but once we understand a problem better, I think we can think about, you know, think about solutions. And I think that lots of young women, well, if they understand that that's part of economics, should start finding this field much more appealing than they do today.